Okay. Hello friends. It's been a while since the last video, but today I'm going to record a new one. It's almost Christmas. We have the time of the year where everybody wants to set his New Year's resolution. And so it's time to talk about goal setting and goal tracking. So there are some new things here. I got a webcam that's really working nice. You see now I'm here in my home office and my idea that we have to keep in mind is maybe we could do a sort of YouTube live stream where you can answer your questions about org mode and then I will see how I can answer them. But just greetings from Augsburg, Germany. And let's go on with goal setting and goal tracking. Let me see how I do this. We made a small presentation. I have two approaches when it's coming to goal settings. And one is, of course, uh, we do set for every action that we have, we set a property value that's just called goal. You see here, we say we have a property named goal and this has uh, possible values that are a long-term goal, a medium-term goal, a short goal or even a non-goal. The non, uh, I didn't implement that yet uh, uh, first on the first approach, but then it came to my mind because I, I've set up a, a custom view for my weekly review that showed me all the long, medium, short uh, goals and also the goals that didn't have a value uh, yet. But there are still actions where you say, okay, this this will never be a goal, so I can set it as a non-goal that it doesn't show up next week in my weekly review. Okay, <coughs> it's easy to set such properties once you define them. You can set them uh, with Control C, Control XP, or you uh, set up a column view and you just uh, set it with the uh, Shift and, and cursor keys. And as I told you, I, I've got a custom agenda that shows me all my goals uh, for the weekly review and very important a long-term goal will sooner or later become a medium-term goal and even a short-term goal so if, if my goal is I want to uh, whatever build a house sooner or later at, at the moment it's, it's a very far away goal but uh, sooner or later it will become uh, more clear what I have to do and, and at one point in time you say this is now short term because I have really to do it. But uh, let me demonstrate how this thing goes. So we do, uh, I have to see, oh, that was very bad, but okay, I'm here. Uh, this is my Emacs window, no, as you see and let me just put myself in, just for the fun of it, okay. So you see this is my my demo uh, site and I've set up the goal uh, property where I say those are the possible values, that means short, medium, long, none. And then I have set a column view that looks like that. Here are some actions and if I use my view, I say CA, hey there, okay CA, and you see I have a weekly review goals set of four commands and that looks like this at, at the moment. So I have long term goals none, medium term goals none, short term goals none, but a lot of goals that are not actions that don't contribute to a goal yet. But this is this I can change, you see I see CXC. And now I am in, in column view and I say, okay, work out at the gym once a week. I want to do this every week. I set this as a long-term goal. Read a book about nutrition. That's more or less a medium-term goal. I want to go on winter holidays, so we do a 
uh, short term goal uh, the solar modules on the roof yeah they are long term as well and that writing white paper okay let's do hey uh, this is no oh, now we, we are at the point that's very funny because I have defined the property value only for this one for this file for the my life org and those are two actions that come from my work org so there is no property definition this is why I can't put those things but nevertheless we go there and you remember the thing I told you it's C X and P oh this is not this is really not funny that's what what always happens if you want to demonstrate something so let me put this um, XF my work org yeah here we are let's go down and see a now we do the same view but now you see as we set the goals we really have those things that they are sorted under the headlines that they say those are my long-term goals those are my medium-term goals those are my short-term goals and this is uh, yeah it doesn't contribute to a goal yet now let me try again CXP yeah I can set a property that means I set goal and I say this is a short whoop. so now you see in the file here there is a property draw coming and it says goal short if we go to the other file <coughs> sorry I got a uh, small cold recently so if we go to the other file we also have those properties so this is uh, the first easy approach where we say okay we want to how to say uh, just assign uh, actions to a sort of this is uh, contributing to a long-term goal to a short term or whatever okay let me go back to my presentation I have to <coughs> restart the presentation yeah we are here I have to see my OBS studio so I don't show you my face anymore let me just uh, mute this okay this was approach number one just easy to understand I guess now let me see the other one um, I have to be uh, today it's really live and nothing works as it is expected okay hello darkness my old friend I come to you again okay this is too far okay approach one approach two okay now we are here great you see it's all live that this is what will happen when we do a live streaming on YouTube I can promise you okay the other approach is I, I do a file that I call goals org and that I uh, really use to track my goals completely independent from the usual to do's that I'm uh, maintaining in my org files it's it's really I want to have a thing that is that is just writing down my goals and uh, for this thing I want to have so-called SMART goals SMART is an acronym and it says okay the S is for specific you really have to know what your goal is and not a, a some sort of oh I would like to but I'm not sure or whatever uh, the M is for measurable so measurable means you really have a sort of thing that, that you can see did I reach my goal or didn't I reach my goal because usually people say I, I have a goal but uh, I don't know how to measure it and it, it's like when I'm, I'm shooting an arrow on a wall and there where the arrow hits the wall and, and is stuck in the wall then I draw a sort of target around it and say yeah look I have really hit my target then the A is for it should be achievable don't set goals that are not achievable that's just frustrating and do a goal that, that is accepted and, and also do a goal where you know 
what actions you should do to have a goal. I mean, it's, it's of no use if you set a goal that says, I want to be rich and I have no idea how to do with it. Then, the no, oh, that's a typo in my slide. Yeah, there should be an R. Okay, read this as an R. It's reasonable. Or oh, you should assign resources to achieve your goal. <coughs> and the T, of course, is timely bound. That that you have a sort of deadline that you say, I want to reach this goal until this specific date. So let's go there. Ah, just examples. A good one and a bad one. You know, New Year's Day is coming up and we all, we all want one thing after Christmas. I want to slim down. That's very bad as an example because what does slimming down mean? It's really unspecific. It's not measurable. It has no deadline. If I want to really set a goal that says I want to lose 10 kilos wait in the next three months so it mean three kilos and a bit every month and what do i want to do my actions my my a is i want to go on a diet and i go to the gym twice a week to achieve that so you see it's specific i can measure did i reach my goal or not because i know my actual weight and i know this minus 10 kilos i really know where i should be in three months I have actions defined to achieve that and I am time bound. They say, okay, my deadline is really in three months. End of March, I want to be at minus 10 kilos. Uh, some hints. When you do your weekly review, just also look at your goals. I have that in my checklist for the re weekly review so that I always have a look at my goals. One point from the goal properties that they say okay which action does contribute to a goal and how is it uh, am i working on those things or not especially on the short-term goals i should work because it's it's of no use to have a short-term goal and then uh, not do anything about it and then the next thing when you miss a goal you miss it accept it as it is don't cheat on it and say oh i i was almost uh, achieving my goal or if I would have done that I would have achieved it just just accept it yeah, yeah you missed it it's it, nobody kills you for that the world is going on just learn from it and say okay why did I miss it uh, was I too too lazy was I too much procrastinating was the goal set too high so that I couldn't achieve it whatever I did or whatever <coughs> and the third uh, thing that comes to my mind is really see the difference between important things that are goals and uh, the so-called shallow work that is just non-goals. That, that is things you have to do. I mean, in my my uh, whatever my my personal uh, org file says, I have to clean my fish tank every two weeks. That's something I have to do. Otherwise, my fish will die but it's not a goal it's just uh, work that i have to do i can listen to a podcast when i do this or whatever it doesn't require much attention it doesn't require much uh, thinking it's just mechanical work but uh, so it's something i need to do so this is why i track it with org mode but it's not something i consider that this is a, a goal for me okay let's go back to the IMAX window and maybe to myself uh, showing up here okay so we have a goal and I have a file that should be goals org at the moment I have just a short term goal that I when I was preparing this uh, episode this this uh, video you see I'm working on that for quite a while it was in uh, September and the idea was somebody in the, the comments said how are you tracking your goals this is why I'm doing this this video now and I have set a template we can see the template 
that says just uh, if uh, f6 was my template key and then I say okay I have a goal and I want to set up now a medium term goal and my goal is lose 10 kilograms of weak, uh, uh, weight until March 31, 2018. Specific current weight minus 10 kilogram. Whoop. You see, I have those. I have a drawer that says just smart, so that I know this is how I define my goal. I'm, I'm really thinking about it in that moment. Uh, how can I measure that? Scale. It should be x minus 10. x is two days. I don't tell you how much it is. <laughs> <coughs> Activity. Go to the gym twice a week. Resources. Do I need resources? Yeah, I need a lot of willpower to, to keep my diet. Time box. Well, how much time do I want to spend on that? I have called the time box. For me, this is just an idea. How much do I want to invest in this goal? And I say, okay, twice a week to the gym means I have to go there one hour for training, half an hour uh, to go there and come back home. So it's 1.30 and it's, it's three hours, let's say four hours a week. Okay, so you see it's already in the file CC and I'm my goals file now has a headline that says medium term goals and I have this um, goal really written down what is what I want <coughs> and what is when did I record it? When did I review it last time? I can even set a control C and control D deadline that says, okay, I want to achieve this until March 31st. You see, now I have a deadline. No, this was wrong. Okay, it's really live here. You see it. Psst, troll dich. This is Yeah, who's the mama? Okay, this is my son. And now we do um, CD, okay, March 30, ah, March 31st next year is my deadline. And what I also have, I have a draw that called, is called actions. Here I can link things that I say, okay, I want to, I need an ID, let's go to the My Life org. Workout at the gym once a week. Okay, let me change this twice a week. I put the F5, so you see now I have that ID value, and I go back to my goals per buffer. Workout twice a week. Whoop. So you see. I even have uh, a drawer now that says oh, those are my really my, my tracked actions what I want to do to achieve this goal or when I have the goal achieved at the end I can see okay what did I do to achieve that and let me save this so if I click here you see I'm, I'm on the action and I can say okay when was the last time I was at the, the gym that was in the 4th of October because I don't uh, maintain this file, this was just for demonstration purposes. But I guess you get the idea. And now I have a dedicated goals file that is just categorized. No, it's not that the, the goal file. Okay, let me see the goals here. <coughs> it's just categorized by short term, medium term, long term goals and so on. You can even have an epic goal that says, yeah, I want to die healthy one day in the future. Of course, I can't set a deadline, even if deadline would be the correct word for that. But no way. But it's, it's something that really helps me to monitor my goals. Because, okay, I, I have to sit down maybe for, for a few hours and, and really think about what are the things I want to achieve next year. 
it's that losing weight, it's that uh, whatever uh, comes to my mind, improving something in the house, uh, maybe changing jobs, maybe doing whatever, going on a world trip, but you have to write it down. Once it's written down and you are honest to yourself, you can't cheat to yourself and say, yeah, that was my goal or whatever, those are your goals. Just uh, work on them, see that those are the priorities and that's it. Okay, so thanks for listening. Now somebody is calling, it's, it's really live. And yeah, we see each other maybe in a live stream sooner or later. So bye.